Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial for you guys. So it looks like everything today is keeping me from making this video, but I did what I could to make it. So here I am. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to hide the keylogger and run it on startup. So um, I've been getting this question a lot these days. So I thought I'd make a video instead of just answering uh, every question. So first of all, to hide it, you can, because if you debug it right now, you can see that, well, it's just showing and all that. Um, so uh, to fix that, you just go and click on the form and then you go to properties and you can see opacity, set that to 0% and if we debug it now, as you can see, we can't see shit because the program is hidden completely. So it's still here somewhere, but you can't see it. Um, but you might notice that you can see it in the taskbar right here. So to fix that, you go to properties again and you can go to show in taskbar set that to false and if we debug it now you really can't see shit so you can't see the window you can't see it in the taskbar it is completely hidden so I'm going to turn opacity to about 10 just to show you guys that it is indeed there so as you can see I'm now moving the window it's almost completely transparent so that's the window only it's completely transparent and invisible so to add it to startup you can always just uh, move the program to the um, what's it called startup folder in your uh, start and then all programs startup folder but you can make that a little sneakier by adding this code to the form load section. So uh, whenever this program first starts, so you have to um, activate it at first, but from then on, it's just going to uh, start on its own. So all you have to do is go to my.computer.registry.localmachine.opensubkey then software slash Microsoft slash Windows slash current version slash run comma true set value or dot set value um, application dot product name comma application dot executable path so what this big ass code is going to do is it's just going to add a key to your to, bleh, bleh, a key to your registry which will make it uh, just execute the file when the um, computer is going to uh, start up. So um, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And i see you guys in the next... Bleh. I can't speak today, really. So uh, i see you guys in the next tutorial. If you like my stuff, please click the like button below. Um, if you uh, want to see more of these, uh, consider subscribing because then you can see it in your subscription box and don't miss a thing. So I see you guys next time. Bye.